OMG! Impressive. Gorge. That's hot. Trendy. Cute. What's she wearing? Hey guys, welcome back to Clever Style. It's time for what she's wearing, and I brought on Dana Ward. Hey! <laughs> From Clever TV. You guys all know and love her very much. We're talking about revenge. I had to bring Dana on. Oh my goodness. I mean, I love this show. That's why that's why you're here. I know, pure amazingness. And of course, when it comes to the style, this is the show you gotta talk about. It's the Hamptons. Please. Gosh. Don't you wish we could live in the Hamptons and dress like them yeah. all day? Yeah, I've been there a few times. I've never been. You need to go, girl. I know. What do you wear when you go to the Hamptons? Um, I don't know. I grew up going there. Did you? Yeah, I did. <gasps> so fun. So I was like in normal clothes. <laughs> Yeah. Kids wear normal clothes. So I don't need no designer duds as a child. So it's not all like this, apparently. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't hanging out with the Revenge crew. I mean, I just, in I my head. I wish I was. I know, right? But it'd be kind of scary. You never know when you're going to get that red X. Oh, gosh. Victoria. I know. Who's alive? Spoiler alert. Oh, Sorry. Goodness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's talk fashion before I ruin it for everybody who hasn't watched the season premiere up season two. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Ashley Medequi took to Instagram to give us a little sneak peek of this dress that she's gonna wear in episode six. Oh my gosh, Balenciaga, amazing. I was gonna say, I, I totally missed this in the yeah. season premiere, but yeah. it's because we haven't seen it yet. Season six, watch out for it. It's going to be amazing. She tweeted, we're shooting a big event for episode six, like wearing Balenciaga. So I wonder what's gonna be happening in this dress. Well, it's not black, so no one's dying. That's good. No funerals. No. And you Do don't you really wear this color to a wedding. I know, because it's too similar to white. Yes. Unless she's getting married and doing something very non-traditional. Wow, or they eloped and it's time for a party. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Although since she is kind of the planner of the whole group, she might be planning any kind of yeah. big party. Maybe it's Victoria we'll Grayson's coming back party. Maybe. I don't know. Oh my gosh, that's really good. Because episode six would be kind of the point maybe where she would be coming back. Like, you know, she's been away for, what, five episodes mm -hmm. now? So that could be what it is. Yeah. I don't know. I good really guess. That's a really good guess, Brie. I hope Real that's what it guess. is. We need Grayson back in our life. What's next? All right, let's see what else. I like the way she accessorized this dress. I know I can't like focus on the fashion because I'm so obsessed with the show. It's really problematic. That was a cool belt, P.S. I know. I wonder if that came with the dress or if it was separate. I don't know. Ashley always adds little flares to her outfit, so you never know. All right, speaking of this outfit, this was from the premiere. I love this dress on Ashley. I think it just fits her so well. Fit Flare's my favorite. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. I love that. You just, it rolls off your tongue. I love it. Fit Flare. Fit, Fit Flare. Flare. It's so flattering on everybody. I love the fabric because it looks really textured. Yes. So this is kind of end of summer, beginning of fall time. Mm -hmm. So it's good that she added in the thicker fabric. Yes. With a more like, you know, light, summery, airy. airy Fit flare dress. Yes, I love the fit flare. <laughs> um, so this dress is by Azadine Alaya, and it's you know designer expensive, but you can find these kind of fit flare tweed. I feel like Zara has dresses mm -hmm. like this. Totally. To get this look, you can get it everywhere. I know. And Josh Bowman, Daniel, hottie. I mean, hottie alert. Man moment. Do we I have am... a button we can press that goes hottie alert. Yes, we need one. Like oh. the Staples button. That yes. was easy. That's a hottie. Yes. <laughs> We could get one. What's she wearing? Yeah, it's perfect. Or that's what she's wearing. That's what it would be. Yeah, we figured it out. All right, moving on from Ashley to Emily Van Camp or Emily Thorne or Amanda Clark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she has so many Whichever names. Whichever name you want to choose. Can't handle it's it. It's her. Um, I really like this outfit. I feel like I don't have specifics on what exactly she's wearing, but just this look in general is something that everyone can do. Oh, completely. I mean, everyone has a pair of denim, right? Yeah. If you don't, you gotta get a pair right now. You gotta invest you in that need, immediately. That's the must have forever, for, for life. life. Um, <laughs> yes. But yeah, this is a great look. Um, mm -hmm. You can't ever go wrong with neutrals. No. Um, and I love the big oversized bag. Me too. I love that look. You can carry everything in that. And I feel like these colors are kind of that olive green military inspired, yeah. which is very big for the fall and winter. It's a, it's a neutral trend. Yes, exactly. And I like her curls, but she looks like something's very intense yeah. is happening in this Some, scene. Something shocking. Yes. Like she's like, oh my God, I'm wearing an awesome outfit. <laughs> amazing. And the she, amazing necklace. <laughs> she caught a reflection in the mirror. <laughs> she's like, dang, I look good in this look. <laughs> 
And this is real life, right? Yes. I just wanted to throw in a little real life. She was at the Environmental <laughs> Awards. I mean, just switching it up a little bit. I like this little pink flirty dress. Totally opposite of her neutral kind of bad A character that's a little mm -hmm. bit feisty. She went really girly in this. I love the bun on top of her head. I've been rocking that a lot lately. Yeah. It's, it's a great way to do like if you don't want to wash your hair one morning, you want to give it a rest. Yes, which is do good. Do this look that day. Yeah. Because you need the extra oils, the good oils, to kind of help you keep that style in your hair. Yeah, and I really like, it looks good on you. Thank you, I really Brie. like it. You're I mean, so sweet. I hate to say this, Emily, but like Dana's top knot might just like beat yours uh -oh. a little bit. Oh, yay. Don't say that. I know I can't. <gasps> But I'm just, I did a story on this and I really should have included Dana in the top knots. I saw your story, it was great. <laughs> Kelly <laughs> Osborne's look was interesting. It was crazy. We'll move on from She's that. But okay. I know. I think the belt looks good on this. I think it cinches in her waist. I'm always a big fan of the cinched in mm -hmm. waist with the belt. I really like the, the ruffle of the dress. Yeah, I do too. I think pretty. it's girly. Really, really girly. I wouldn't wear it because girly's like not my thing, but it looks good on her. Yeah. So. All right, last but not least. Dun, 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 this is dun, my favorite dun, look. Dun. I saved it for last. Excuse me, Prada. I mean. Let me in, Prada, hey. When she comes back to the Hamptons, going to see her ex, who's now dating her ex-best friend, this is the kind of dress you want to wear. Exactly, <laughs> so true. Yeah, just glamorous, mm -hmm. perfect, not too overdone. I just. I mean, it's amazing yeah. pure confidence oh totally yeah this dress i agree this is a photo of her on set but if you guys saw the episode you just saw her walk in like she owned the boat mm -hmm. <laughs> and one thing that i think was so interesting that we were chit chatting about a little bit earlier so the dress very couture it's prada but on the show she was carrying a clutch with her from aldo perfect high low the way to go Love i read it, it. But That's I mean, great. it's a great way to show that even these celebrities who are wearing designer dresses can buy pieces that are budget friendly that totally fit with the dress. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you have that one designer piece that you've really invested in, like a bag or, you know, shoes, if you're wearing a budget friendly pieces with that, nobody's gonna know because you pick, you have your one staple that you love. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So true. Kind of tricks of the trade. And I'm kind of proud of my budget items. If um, I find a good deal on something, I'm not one if someone asks me, I'm like, oh my God, I just got it on sale. I get yeah. so excited. Yeah. I know some people like to kind of hide it and be like, oh yeah, thank you. But sometimes I'm proud yeah. of finding a real good deal. I've had a Forever 21 dress that I get compliments literally all the time on. And I'm like, I got up Forever 21 four years ago. I mean, this <laughs> stuff lasts and it stays. It's a leopard dress and I can't get over it. Yeah, but so. if you can get this amazing Prada dress, Get it. Props to you. It's yeah. fabulous. I know. I can't wait to see more. Getting sneak peeks from Ashley wearing Balenciaga. I mean, oh. fashion's going to be unreal. We will be talking about this again. I know. And we will be talking about the show. We, we have an entire season of fashion coming up. So. Oh, I can't wait. Fall oh. TV fashion is off the charts. Heart of Dixie. I 666 mean. 666 Park Avenue. There is Amazing so, fashion on that show. I mean, there's just so much fashion on TV right now. I can't handle it. Even the singing competitions, I'm all off, all over the place right now, but like Christina mm -hmm. and what they wear and what the people on The Voice are wearing uh -huh. when they're performing, there's just so much so to talk about. So true. Ah, can't and wait. And then Nicki Minaj is going to come along and just totally funkify it up. Oh, it's going to be wild. We're going to have costumes from her, we're going to have some couture from Mariah. I know, if they can handle it together. We'll have to see. <laughs> I know, we'll have to wait that one out. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching What She's Wearing. Let us know in the comments which one your favorite outfit was, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for coming on, Dana. Thank you for having me. Of course. Bye, guys. See ya. Guys, what to wear? Confused? Should you wear the shirt? Should you wear the dress? Who knows? For all the answers, make sure you subscribe to Clever Style. Click the button. You won't regret it.